Hi guys, it's Lynn here and yeah, yeah, Hans Hansi. <laughs> and uh, today guys, we've brought in a load of the big tall cacti as you can see here because the weather has been raining constantly here in um, Northern Ireland for the past few um, few weeks and as I say these were in our yard but it's getting closer to um, overwintering now we need to dry out the soil in the pot so we've got them in the polytunnel so they're the top of them is covered from the rain but as you can see here they're still quite damp in their pots there's a lot of um, water still in the pots and it's really important that when the winter kicks in because these are going to be overwintered inside this polytunnel that the soil is completely dry and what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be putting newspaper, which we've done here, but we're going to be showing you a few more examples of lots more newspaper to help dry out the pots. And if you're like us, you keep your plants um, outside during the summer. Like these ones are always kept in the polytunnel all the time. But the big fellas here go into our yard to enjoy the spring and summer months. And um, when we bring them in, obviously we have a problem. They have to be totally dry before the winter kicks in for their dormancy. And we're going to share here how to, if you bring your plants in for the winter, how to dry the soil up in their pots a bit quicker by using newspaper. And um, here we are. We've got newspaper here. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be putting more newspaper under so, these big yeah, pots. Traditional quality paper, you know, the paper of newspaper that sucks up. Yeah, but I think to dry out uh, the pots is the best way to use a newspaper because it's, it's just rubbish. <laughs> yeah, we certainly don't read newspapers. These we got um, we got gifted to us, well given to us from the garbage. Yeah. But uh, and by the way, guys, if you're not familiar with my wonderful fiance Hansi's channel, um, cact uh, family of cactus and other beauties, please do over <laughs> and subscribe. Links up please. above. <laughs> and uh, as I say, um, probably have to put the camera down now. It's going to need two of us to lift these plants and uh, put the newspaper under. But I'm going to show you what we do in a second. Now it's important you use a few layers of um, a few layers of newspaper to help dry the pots out. And we've got this one here. We've got three large, big Trichocerea scopicola cacti and a big Kalanchoe degrembiandian mother of thousands that sort of accidentally got planted in there. Oh, it's very stormy and windy out there. If you wonder what the noise is, and um, we had we had to, obviously one sheet under it when we first brought them in, but we're going to need to dry them out now. So we're going to be putting a few layers. Hans has got a few layers there, and then we're going to put them underneath the plant pot. Now guys, always good to check when you're bringing in plants from the outside back into your um, indoor quarters for the winter. Make sure to check underneath the pots there's no signs of slugs. In this case, we've got a slug here hiding under the pot. And uh, me and Hansi don't like to kill anything if we, if, unless it's absolutely no other alternative. So when it comes to slugs, we just literally take them out and throw them back at the top of the garden. Because um, at the end of the day, they don't know they're doing any harm. <laughs> so um, just throw that out. As I say, we put the slugs back out at the top of the garden. And um, now, as I say here, I'm going to put more layers. We had some layers down on newspaper when we first brought these in. And um, we put more layers down. As you can see, the newspaper's great as absorbing a lot of the moisture there, which is brilliant. And uh, I'm going to be putting new more few layers down and hopefully dry this big marginatus cactus and the big um, truck of those bugesii over there too. So guys, that's all of the big tall um, cacti that we had in our yard for the spring and summer, all covered in newspaper all at the bottom. And look at that, they're all big tall giants, aren't they? And as I say, this is just showing a little tip. If you've got plants that are soaking wet in their pots and you need them to be fully dry before the winter kicks in, um, just use newspaper underneath. You can use any type of absorbent type of paper towel would work in exactly the same way, but newspaper is very easy to use and get hold of. And it may not look the most attractive in the polytunnel, but as I say, this is only just to dry them all up. Might probably keep it in here for the polytunnel for the winter anyway. It's gonna to help to absorb any extra damp. And that's really all there is to it. And the reason why you might be saying, oh, why is it so important that the soil is dry before the winter? Well, because these plants are going to be overwintered cool in this polytunnel, we heat it and keep it at about a minimum of five Celsius. But 
usually around 5 to um, 7C Celsius. So it's going to be kept cool and dry. That if these were kept as wet as this in that temperature, they could rot because cacti go dormant in the shorter, shorter day length. So it's essential that they're bone dry or as dry as possible before the winter kicks in. So that's why we're doing this. And that's pretty much it guys. Hope you found it um, useful if you want to dry your plants out quick. <laughs> and um, as I say, me and Hansi yeah. are sending loads of love, heaps, heaps of happiness, and, and tons and tons of plant power. As always, from across the Emerald Isle. Until oh. the next video. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>